Hello friend, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since we have done just a cleaning video with a voiceover and music without it being a vlog as well. Like I've just been doing a ton of like day in the life vlogs, travel vlogs, stuff like that. So we are just doing a regular old fashioned cleaning video today. So I hope you guys are ready for a little bit of motivation. Um, I'm just starting off in the kitchen today. My whole house has been seriously neglected lately. We've been so busy. We have sports five nights a week between all three kids and baseball, tumbling, cheerleading. We have so much going on. So during the day, I'm just like at my computer editing or like filming vlogs and stuff like that. And cleaning has just been put on the back burner. So I'm gonna tackle some of the things that really need to get done today and just get as much done as I can between uh, picking kids up from school and making dinner and all of that. So like I said, we're starting off in the kitchen today. Um, I just went through some of the kids like schoolwork and stuff that was just piled on the end of this counter. Um, actually, Donnie ended up coming home from work at the end, like, you know, the end of this day. And he's like, whoa, the counter looks so empty over here. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I finally cleaned it off. Uh, so I went through all that, you know, figured out what I was gonna keep, threw away what needed to be thrown away, just put stuff back where it needed to go. It's just been sitting out. It's been a doom pile just sitting there. <laughs> Um, and then I got the dishwasher unloaded and I'm gonna go ahead and work on loading up the dishwasher and I have a ton of stuff that whole pile right there needs to be hand washed so I am going to load everything in that can go in the dishwasher and then work on hand washing all that stuff guys know us and our strawberries I swear every like three or four days I'm doing this but I had two big things of strawberries from Costco that needed to be washed so I'm getting those into a bowl and adding some cold water and a little cap full of the thieves fruit and veggie wash and I'm gonna let those soak for a little bit while I work on some other things I'm gonna use this Zep granite cleaner. I think it's called Stone and Granite Cleaner. I picked it up at TJ Maxx a while back, or maybe it was Home Goods, one or the other. I found it there. I can always find some random cleaning products there, but just using one of my white cleaning rags, I get those at Walmart in like a big pack, and they're just super easy to clean um, in the wash machine all together with cleaning rags. So those are awesome. But I'm just gonna wipe down the counters, and then also the stove really needs to be wiped down. It's been just kind of getting caked up and not being cleaned every night after cooking so I need some scrubbing so I'm gonna take some of this pink stuff and a scrub daddy sponge and work on the burner covers um, it works really really well to clean that up I'll show you guys an after here shortly um, but I'm gonna use that to scrub those and then also work on scrubbing like around the burners too with you all night long Diving, begging, no, we can't stop this Come on and show me what you got Cause I don't care If they think we're mad to be falling in love 
once I get all the pink stuff wiped up off of there, I'm just taking some stainless steel cleaner to polish it all up. And then I will show you guys one of those burner covers and how clean it came from using that pink stuff. All right, moving right along, finished up the stove and now I'm gonna keep working on this other side of the counter. I've got apples that need to be put away in the fridge and then um, some protein shakes. I had gotten Costco, a few things from Costco the day before that needed to be put away. Those strawberries and I mean these and those apples, there's just a couple of things. So I am going to put those away and then clear off that counter. I move the knife block and the butter thing and I'm gonna wipe all of that down, move the banana bowl, just getting all of the crumbs and everything. This all needed to be wiped down really, really well. And I also have a tray that we keep on top of the microwave that we put like bread on. And that was full of like crumbs and all sorts of stuff. So I took that off, dumped it out in the trash. I'm gonna wipe that down and just get this whole area over here cleaned up. This makes it harder to move on, oh baby. After I got the island all wiped down with that granite and stone cleaner, I'm gonna clear off the fridge. There's so many fingerprints and even footprints down on the freezer. So I'm just using, I think it's Wyman's, the brand stainless steel cleaner I have right now. It's not my favorite, but I saw it at TJ Maxx also and just grabbed it on a whim. But my favorite stainless steel cleaner is definitely the CLR. Um, and I usually get that on Amazon, but it just, it works so well. But this did the job, it's just not the same. So um, I'm just gonna get the fridge all wiped down with that stainless steel cleaner. So once I was done in the kitchen, I grabbed all the cleaning rags that I had used and dumped those in my basket in the laundry room that I put like dish towels and cleaning rags in and that was very full. So it is time to get that stuff washed. So I'm gonna pull the clean clothes out of the dryer that are done, go put those on the couch, cleaning out the lint trap, and then I'm gonna swap, I think I had a duvet cover in the washing machine, let me see. Yes, I, I had a duvet cover in there. Um, so I'm gonna put that into the dryer and then start all of my cleaning rags in the wash. I always just do um, laundry soap and then some OxyClean and I do it on the sanitize setting to get them nice and clean. It's like a two hour cycle and it does like super hot water, soaks them and all of that. So we're gonna get those cleaning rags started. So I had ordered some groceries on Instacart and they got delivered and when I went out to get them, I saw that my HelloFresh box was also delivered, must have been around the same time. Um, so I'm gonna bring that in, bring in those groceries um, and get that stuff put away, get all of my HelloFresh stuff put away. So since I'm working on putting all of my HelloFresh stuff away that just got delivered, we're gonna go ahead and fast forward to the evening after I was done cleaning the house. And I wanna tell you guys about HelloFresh real quick. So thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. You guys know how much my family loves HelloFresh. We've been getting HelloFresh for years now and I pretty much get a HelloFresh box every week at this point because we're so busy. I was telling you guys, we have activities every night and getting HelloFresh is definitely cheaper than doing takeout and it saves me time from 
spending a lot of time grocery shopping, whether that's on Instacart or whatever, um, or in the grocery store, it just saves a lot of time and it's really convenient that everything just gets delivered to your doorstep with these awesome recipe cards. They're literally foolproof. They are step-by-step. -step. They show you pictures. Anyone can follow the instructions on these. The kids even love to get in the kitchen and help me cook the HelloFresh meals. Um, and they're always so good. I've told you guys this before, but we've never gotten a HelloFresh meal that we didn't like. And each week that you get a HelloFresh box, you get to pick your recipes that are included. So you can either go with like the chef picks, um, the just automatic ones, or you can switch it up and pick. There's like 40 different recipes to choose from each week. And like I said, they're all so good. Um, it really just takes the hassle out of mealtime by delivering pre-portioned ingredients and easy to prepare recipes literally right to your door. So you can skip the checkout line at the grocery store. And also I love how quick and easy these recipes are so that way I can spend more time doing things that I want to do versus spending a ton of time in the kitchen um, because I like to just get dinner done as quick as possible so we can, you know, get on to our sports or just be outside especially with like the warmer weather coming and all of that um but if you're looking for a way to save this spring hellofresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and like i said 25 percent cheaper than takeout so that is awesome so i do have a discount code for you guys um, if you want to try out HelloFresh, go to HelloFresh.com, use the code CASPERFRESH50 for 50% off, plus your first box ships for free too. So I will have all the info linked in the description box for you guys. Definitely be sure to check that out. Like I said, my code is CASPERFRESH50 for 50% off, plus your first box will ship free. So definitely be sure to check that out. This recipe was so good, but now we're going to go ahead and get back on to cleaning the house. We're going to rewind back to the daytime and finish cleaning up. So we're jumping right back into where we left off earlier. Those strawberries were soaking while I cleaned up the kitchen and swapped around some laundry. So I rinsed them off in this strainer and then I got out my mason jars. Um, I picked up these mason jars at the grocery outlet. You can honestly find mason jars of all different sizes at most grocery stores in like the baking aisle. Um, I think is where I usually find or where I usually see them or Amazon or anything like that. So I am just gonna get the strawberries cut up. Makes it so easy to just grab a jar, dump it into a, a bowl or a plate for the kids or pack them for lunch. And then I don't have to worry about, you know, cutting up strawberries for each meal or for lunches and stuff. So that part is done. And now we're gonna head into the living room. The coffee table was just covered in stuff, the kids stuff, um, Easter stuff, chargers, computers, all sorts of stuff that just needs to be put away. So I'm gonna clean up this coffee table and we're gonna work on picking up the living room. That laundry that I had pulled out of the dryer a little while ago and told you I just threw it on the couch, here it is. So we need to get that folded. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this small little pile of laundry folded real quick and put everywhere that it needs to go. Um, I just put the kids' clothes on their beds. They put them away. I'll stick ours in our bedroom and I'll get to that <laughs> at some point. Right now I'm gonna vacuum the couch. So this vacuum that I have is the, the old version of the Shark Apex. I've had this vacuum for I think four or five years now. I've talked about it with you guys before. Um, I do love like the pet attachment on it which is great for this kind of stuff. However, <laughs> I'm struggling. The cord on it, like the tube for the handheld part is not very long. Um, I guess I could attach like the longer handle to it but I didn't so I was struggling but I got the little couch vacuumed and now I'm gonna vacuum with the rug in here and then I'm also gonna vacuum with the big couch Bye. 
The living room is done. It's all picked up and vacuumed and now the dining room table needs to be cleaned up. So the kids have been working on art projects like they always are. So I had them all help me put stuff away and get that all cleaned up. And now I'm just taking some thieves cleaner and I am going to wipe down the dining room table. Now headed into the hallway, I had a big thing of Costco toilet paper to put away and the kids had a whole bunch of stuff in the hallway that needed to be put away. Baseball cleats, baseball bags, school book bags, everything, all sorts of stuff. And they were watching a movie in the boys' bedroom and they kept going in there. I'm like, oh, nope, you got you got to put your butt baseball bag away. And then they'd go back in the bedroom. I'm like, okay, now you got to do your shoes. Let's get it all done. <laughs> They're like, mom, we're watching a movie. So they got all their stuff put away uh, while I put all this toilet paper away in their bathroom. Alright, now I'm going to get started on the floors. They need to be mopped so badly. In videos, it's hard to tell because just the color of our floors hide literally everything. Like footprints and everything, but then the sun comes in the windows just right and it's like, oh my gosh, between muddy dog prints and just lots of kids and all of that they were very dirty so I'm gonna vacuum this whole dining room area and then under the buffet we're just gonna we're gonna vacuum we have lots of vacuuming to do lots of dust bunnies everywhere uh, that need to be vacuumed up and we have to get that done before I can mop of dust bunnies under this buffet there's always so many I tried to zoom in for you guys to see here this is just like a high traffic area and all the dust just like collects under there and like pet hair and stuff so there's always just these little floofs of <laughs> hair under the buffet uh, so I got that vacuumed up and now I'm gonna head down the hallway and get the whole hallway vacuumed as well
headed into the kitchen. I am also running the vacuum in here. So many crumbs on the floor after wiping down all of the counters and like cleaning the stove and all of that. So definitely needed to get in here. There's crazy amounts of crumbs like all up against the baseboards. I should have given you guys a little close up view of that, but just trust me, it was dirty. A long time since I've used my Bona mop and I was kind of in a hurry to finish getting this cleaning done so I went ahead and pulled out the Bona mop and that's what we are gonna use today to just quickly clean the floors I've been feeling so small watch the clock ticking off the wall but tonight I'm letting it go spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out. So try not to hold me down. Feel alive. Faster car. Lay my troubles to rest. Blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine. And I know this is my time now. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. Now, the very last thing that we are gonna get done is cleaning the kids' bathroom. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but their mirror was so incredibly dirty. I don't know how they splatter so much toothpaste on the mirror, but I think that's just part of being a kid. It's like just written in kids' DNA or something. Like you just have to splatter toothpaste on the mirror if you're a child. So what is mom for? We're here to clean that up. So it's also all over the cabinet here. So I wiped down the mirror with my favorite spray away glass cleaner and now I'm just using a cleaning rag, a little um, cleaning spray, some water, and I'm just going to wipe down these cabinets, get all the built up toothpaste and gunk off of there. Beautiful stars, I want to drive a faster car. I'm going to be myself. I'm going to be someone else. I'm going to be myself. I'm going to be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes Try not to hold me down, feel alive I'm also using some Clorox spray on the counters, just gonna get everything wiped down and cleaned. I know it's not like the best thing to clean with, but when I clean with bleach, my I just feel like my house smells so good and so clean. So every once in a while, I love it. <laughs> so I wiped all of that down, and then of course, we gotta clean the toilet. Nobody likes cleaning toilets, but it's gotta be done. So I'm just gonna spray some of that uh, Clorox cleaner on there grab a couple of my white cleaning rags and scrub that down as well That 
is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this cleaning video. Hopefully it gave you a little motivation to tackle some things in your house that you've been putting off like I have. Um, definitely be sure to check out the link in the description box. You guys can use my code at CasperFresh50 to save on your HelloFresh. And yeah, thank you so much. Be sure to subscribe if you are new and I will see you again very soon in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.